Okay, so in today's video, we are going to build a responsive navbar, just like that, with React. So it's a simple component, actually, but with React, it always gets complicated to do uh, simple things. So I'm here to help you, and we can code it right now. Okay, so here we are in VS Code. It's a simple create React app folder, okay? And in my app.js, I just import my navbar, and I use it right there. Okay, you can find the source code in description. You can use it as you want, or you can use it to code it with me. Okay, you, you can do whatever you want with it. So I just have a components folder right there with navbar folder too. And in my navbar CSS and navbar.js, I have nothing right now, but it's time to code it. So I will create the basic structure of my component, RFC, and I press enter, and it will create a functional component. It's working with the ES7 um, React Redux extension, actually. Okay, so right now I want to use a nav element because it's a navigation. And right there, I will create a list and inside it, li items, home, services, and contact. Okay. Okay, great, we can see the navigation right there. And we also need a button with the class of BTN. And inside it, I will just put BTN and it will trigger our navigation when we are on small screen, actually on mobile screen. Okay, so this is it, this is pretty simple. You can use animation and everything in, uh, in the button, but right now we will just focus on the uh, component, the responsive navbar component. Okay, great, so now we just need to style everything. We can import navbar.css right there. And let's, let's style it. It's pretty important to understand the CSS in that case, because it's linked with responsive and everything. So we need to do the CSS together. So position fixed to fix it at the top with top zero, a width of 100% a height of 50 pixel, a background linear gradient, linear gradient, 45 degrees with the RGB 156, 14 and 156 right there. And the second color would be midnight blue, midnight blue right there. Whoops, midnight blue, uh, midnight with a G blue right there. Okay. All right, great. It's just to have some colors, actually. OK, so below, we are going to style our list with a list style type none. Great. We can take the same background. It's for the mobile purpose. Actually, we do need the same background on the list and the navigation. The list will take 100% height, a display flex, Justify content center, align item center to center our navigation links and a position rela relative for the BTN. Okay, BTN. Great, great. So we do have our navigation right there. It's nice, but I want to style the text a little bit. So items, margin right, 20 pixel, font size of 20 pixel too, text transform uppercase. Okay, and the color of F1, 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 and a cursor pointer. Great. So we do have our links right there. Well, there is no links inside, but in a real world component, you just put some links inside it. Uh, okay, so great, this is working, and we do need to style our BTN right now. So BTN display none position absolute, and we put it at right 10 pixel, top 7 pixel. A little bit of padding and a color of 000 and a font size of 18 pixel. Great, so uh, right now it's display none, but we can see it right there, okay? So we will display none uh, basically because we don't want to see it on big screen, we just want to see it on small screen actually, okay? So right now we can put some media queries at media screen and max width 500 pixel. We want the list to change, okay, with a flex direction column from row right there to column and the height of auto. 
Okay. And the first items of the list will have an NTH child border top one pixel solid. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, great. And a margin top of 50 pixel. So you can see it if you press F12 and you click on right there, toggle device toolbar. Okay. You can see that there, there are some change if we go below 500 pixel. Okay. So this is great. This is what we want. We can continue all the item, items, sorry, will take a width of 100% right there. You can take the border top too. And you can put some text align center and remove the margin right to zero pixel. Okay, nice. And right there, we will also make the button appear, appear right there. Nice. Okay, so if you uh, refresh it, you will see that it's it's working, but it's not really good looking. We need some padding, maybe right there, 20 pixel, zero. And yes, yes, this is, this is much better. And for the border, we can put some white border actually. Okay, so white border here and whoops, white border there too. Okay, that's nice. And we can like lower the RGB right there to have something more soft. Okay, soft border. Okay, that's nice, that's nice. Great, great. So we do uh, have finished our CSS right there. Okay, so, so if you go on small screen, it will trigger the media query, but it's not working. You can press the button and this is not what we want. Actually, we don't want to go on mobile. Imagine you, you just open the site and see the navigation open like that. You don't want that. You want to click on the button to open the navigation. So we will need some JavaScript. We will need to play with React to uh, achieve something like that. So we can go just right there on the nav bar and yeah, let's go for the um, logic part, I, I would say. So we need some use state and use effect. Use state and use effect. Okay, great. And the first thing I want to do is just to press the button right there and close and open the navigation. We want to toggle the navigation. So right there, I will create some state. Um, that state um, is const toggle menu and the function to change the state will be set toggle menu okay equal use state and we start with false okay we don't want to see the screen when we begin okay great so now i can create a short circuit operator so right there i will just create something like toggle menu and 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 i will return this right there okay great so you see that toggle menu is false so this is a short circuit operator if it's true it's uh showing that but if it's false it's just show nothing actually so this is great this is like a shorter version of uh, the ternary operator so toggle menu is false so we don't see anything and if it's true we can see it okay that's nice so now what we need to do we need to create a simple function const toggle nav equal an arrow function. And now we just toggle the menu with set toggle menu. And we will reverse it every time. So when we click on the button, if toggle menu is false, it will go to true. And if it's true, it will go to false actually. Okay, great. So now we do want to use it when we click on the button on click equal toggle nav. And look at that. Yeah, it's working. It's working. It's nice. So it's it's nice actually. But if you go on full screen, it will hide it. It will hide it. Why? Uh, because right there we are just uh, focusing on toggle menu, and basically it's it's set to false actually. So when we when we are on full screen like that, uh, it will just show nothing actually. So we need to detect the screen width, and we need to add something right there. So how can we detect the screen width? Well, we will create just some another state. Screen width, set screen width, equal user state, and it will have the value of window dot inner width. Okay, great. 
we can take it right there and go right there. And we will use the or logical operator or screen width greater than 500. Okay, nice. So now I'm right there and the screen width is obviously greater than 500. So one of the true two operands right there is true. This is this one. So we return the list. Okay. But actually, if we, um, if we reduce, if we sh shrink the, the window, okay, by ourselves, like uh, when we pr press F12 right there, it will show the menu, okay, on small screen, and I can't toggle it, okay, because it's not, um, I mean, it's not automatic, it's just taking the screen when we arrive on our website. No, so if we are on big screen, it will always keep the big, uh, value right there. So we need to add some events just in case someone is uh, shrinking the window, which is kind of rare, but you don't know. So we will add that features. So right there, we will use use effect. Okay. This is a hooks that is uh, triggered when the component has finished um, mounting, when is created, uh, that will trigger that uh, callback function. Okay, so we can put an empty array on the second argument and it will just trigger one time when the component uh, is created at, at first. So right there we can create const change width and we can use set screen set screen width right there and we will put window dot inner width. Okay, and this function will be called every time we shrink or if we uh, if we grow the the window, so window dot add event listener resize, yeah. Every time we resize the window, change width. Okay, great. So now every time I resize it, so I have one little mistake right there. Okay, nice. So every time I resize it, actually I'm uh, updating my state. And you saw that you see that it's working actually it's working great it's working great and this is working too okay nice last thing i want to add when you use use effect you need to be clean you need to use a cleanup function return so when you return a function like that this is a cleanup function and if your component gets destroyed if you remove it for whatever reason in your application you don't want to keep the ad event listener in the memory okay uh, so you just put uh, right there window dot remove event listener resize resize and uh, the the function it's associated with okay so uh, the cleanup function is firing firing executed uh, whenever the component gets destroyed and we want to remove the event listener if the component gets destroyed we don't want to keep it in the memory. Great, great, great. So right now it's working. It's working just nice. Look, we are on a big screen right there. We can refresh it. Okay, it's working. And I go on small screen, okay, below 500 pixel. And now I can click on my button and it will just open my navigation. So yeah, this is not the best good looking button. You can do some hamburger animation or thing like that. But I wanted to focus on the just the responsive navbar right there, okay? After that, you can do whatever you want. Uh, sorry for the d double click. My mouse is kind of broken. I need to buy another one. Okay, great. So like it, subscribe, and see you next time. You can find the source code in the description, and you can use it for whatever you want. <laughs> see you next time. Bye.